Welcome back in 511. Where has all the toilet paper gone? Since the coronavirus outbreak started sweeping across the states, you've seen it in your grocery stores or your super stores, empty shelves where the toilet rolls used to be, right? It's gotten so bad that even some restaurants are now giving away toilet paper with takeout food. So why is everyone panic buying all of these things? Matt Gregory talked to a psychologist to find out why people hoard toilet paper. The expert I spoke to says that run on TP comes from anxiety. That feeling that things are spiraling out of control leads us to focus in on the essentials. But the problem is, sometimes we overcorrect for the essentials. Since the coronavirus outbreak started here in the DMV, I think it's safe to say this has been a tense time, more than any weather event we've seen before. The uncertainty is taking its toll. I talked to Dr. Mary Alvord. She's a psychologist from Bethesda. She says the crisis uncertainty leads to what she calls catastrophizing. The brain is well equipped to handle a certain amount of anxiety, but then the false alarms, which is a term that we use, um, is when it goes into overdrive. Normally, we see this in weather events in the DMV. People flocking to the grocery store in droves, and we see a run on milk and bread. But during this coronavirus outbreak, consumers strip the shelves of the usual suspects and some new ones, cleaning supplies, and of course, toilet paper. This is kind of embarrassing, but there's no toilet paper over here. Dr. Albert says that's because those items to us represent a comfort in crisis. We all need to go to the bathroom and we that's a comfort for us to know that we can do it. Still, the once flush shelves of toilet paper remain bare. Three squares? You can't spare three squares? No, I don't have a square to spare. I can't spare a square. Dr. Albert says it's going to take people coming together to not only calm anxieties, but remember, to only take what you need, even if it's just TP. I would just hope that people can reach out to friends, neighbors, um, and their support systems in this time and know that we're all in this together. Dr. Albert added that as this becomes the new normal, the stay at home and work from home mentality, she hopes that will ease anxiety and hopefully free up some of the essentials for the rest of us. In Northwest, I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.